morning, happy Wednesday. It is February 5th today. Um, I just made my coffee, as you guys saw, and I'm currently watching The Crown on Netflix. I'm not sure what I think of the third season. I like it, but I really miss the old actress from the first two seasons. I understand their reasoning behind changing the actress, so yeah, I'm just, I'm only three episodes in, so we'll see how I like it. Um, I don't really have a whole lot planned today. I really just want to edit, maybe do a little bit of laundry if I can. I would love to wash my hair, but I'm not feeling the best today, and I probably look awful. Um, yeah. So last night, Brave and I went to a fibro support group. Um, we used to go every month, and the last couple months just with a combination of the holidays and me being out of town at my parents or pain and just different variety of different factors that contributed, uh, contributed to us not being able to go. But last night we went, and there was actually a doctor there that did his master's thesis on fibromyalgia. So it was really, really interesting to hear a doctor's perspective in a more casual setting. He talked a lot about his own research and different studies that have been done within the last couple of years. And yeah, it was very informative about just like different findings that they have found about how fibromyalgia affects the body. currently 2 30 I just woke up from a nap I kind of just had one of those moments where I just crashed real hard and had a nap and it was good I didn't sleep for too long I think I slept for maybe an hour hour and 15 minutes maybe um, I want to finish editing this video I'm gonna wait for Brayden to get home so I can have a shower and I also need to do a pump site change. So I figured I am type 1 diabetic and while I don't post about it a lot and that's just due to the simple fact that I feel that there are type 1s that are just like better at educating about it than I am. I mean I've had type 1 since I was, I was diagnosed when I was 11. So I've had it over half my life at this point, so, which is like crazy because I'm 23. Um, so I guess a little bit about this. I've had my pump for six or seven years now. I got this new, I got, I had an old Medtronic pump and then I got a new one two years ago because my old one kind of went all glitchy and send it into Medtronic and they're like, yeah, there's nothing we can do to fix it, but you still have warranty, so they sent me a new one. Anyways, I'm going to go get the stuff so that I can change my site and I'll show you what to do. It'll be awesome. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm back with all my medical stuff. I have a vial of insulin. I have a, I don't know, I call this a pump site change. It doesn't actually tell me what it's called. It's a pump site change. I don't know. And then I have a reservoir which you put the insulin into and it holds the insulin in your pump. So. Hopefully I kind of explained that. Um, I've done it so many times I've kind of, I don't want to say forgotten how to explain it, but I'm just not good at describing things. So please bear with me. So currently right now this is what my pump site looks like it has like eight inches of tubing and there is a little 
cannula that kind of goes inside of me, like an IV. It's very, very small. I can show it to you through this whole process. So the first thing I'm going to do is, here, I'll let you watch. Oh, it says low battery. So apparently we have to change the battery as well. We can do that. So I'm going to click OK. We've got a little bit. It gives you like 24 hours notice, so it's not like pressing necessity. So I'm going to go down to reservoir and tubing, click that, and then my options are new reservoir or fill cannula. So I'm going to do new reservoir because I have to change everything. I'm going to remove this part, which is the reservoir from the pump and then I'm going to click the button to rewind it. So there's like a plunger type thing in here that as you give insulin it pushes it up so that it goes up through the tubing and into your body. I feel like I explained that okay. So I'm going to put my pump right here and we're going to fill the reservoir with insulin. So open this. Oh, I also should state I did wash my hands, I didn't include it in the video because I just, wash your hands, make sure you're sanitary, yeah. So I'm going to draw back the plunger because you have to put air into the vial so that you can drop insulin. So I'm going to put insulin and then push air in and then suck insulin out. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm sorry if you can't. So sometimes I do get like tiny little air bubbles at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see it. So I just kind of flick them with my finger, make sure that they get to the top because you don't want any sort of bubble in your line because then the air bubble is counted as like X amount of units of insulin and then you're not actually getting that insulin. So that's just not good. You don't want air in your hole or in your tubing. So I'm going to take that off because it's full. This will go back into the fridge. This is my vial of insulin which has to be stored in the fridge. So I will t put that back in the fridge. This can just go in the recycling bin. It's just plastic and paper, so I will recycle this. Um, this blue tip right here does have a needle that goes into the vial of insulin, so this does have to be put into a sharps container. And then this bottom piece, piece that's attached to the plunger just twists off the bottom, and this can be recycled as well because it's just plastic. So I'm going to put the cannula, not cannula, the uh, reservoir, just, I'm just going to set it down. And then I'm just going to open the pump site. It looks like this. It's blue. They come in different colors and the color depends on, it like tells you the length of the tubing. So there's a clear one which is the shortest tubing. This is like the medium sized tubing, which is I believe eight inches. And then there is also a pink one and it it's like really long. Well, not really long, but it's, but I prefer to use the blue ones. So I'm just taking off the surrounding plastic. This can just go in the recycle bin. It's just plastic. Then I'll take off the lid portion. This is also just plastic. There is a lot of waste in site changes and I hate it, but it keeps me alive. So we're just going to deal with it and recycle what we can. So this I'm just peeling off the back, which you will understand that later, but this also recycle bin. So then I'm going to, iron. so the tubing, don't knock over the insulin vial. The tubing kind of goes all around here. So we're going to unravel that carefully. Try not to tug anything. So 
that's kind of, I don't know if you can really see. So the tubing is coming out and this is the end of it. So the next thing that I am going to do is attach the reservoir into here and you just like put push it in and click it. Pretty straightforward. So then I'm going to put it into my pump and when it kind of clicks and doesn't move anymore, you know that's good. So next what we're going to do is we're going to prime the line. So it's I'm just going to read you what my pump says. It says fill reservoir, connect tubing to reservoir and do not connect to the body yet. So the tubing is connected to the reservoir. This this is the tubing. The reservoir is inside the pump. So we're going to go next. It says three, place reservoir into pump and lock. I did that. And then we are going to load. So the plunger is going to go up until it hits the plunger at the bottom of the reservoir and then it will beep. So we're going to press load. So it beeps three times and so the plunger is at the end of the reservoir and is ready to administer insulin. So let me click next and then we're going to fill, which means we're going to fill the tube in until we see some drops of insulin coming out of this blue thing. So we're going to do that. And I don't know if you can see that, but there are bubbles coming out or drops of insulin. So we click next and then we are done. So now, okay, if you don't like needles, I highly suggest you skip this part. I will put a timestamp of where you can skip to down below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the protective covering to the sticky part. And we're gonna try not to touch the sticky part just so that it's a little bit more sanitary. This can go into the recycle bin because it's just Again, it's like a papery plastic. And then we're going to remove the blue kind of, I don't know what it, it protects the needle. So we're gonna remove that. Got my finger stuck on the sticky stuff for a second there. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the needly part. <laughs> so the back part of this pulls out and you press two buttons on the side. Oh, it wants to come out, so I have to fix it. Okay, I think it. I think we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my stomach, kind of the same. I'm just gonna do the opposite side, I think. So what I like to do, I'm just gonna pull my pants down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I feel my stomach. I don't like putting it in like your ab muscles, that hurts really bad, so sometimes I'll put it here. That can hurt a little. I usually prefer to do it on my side, like in this area. I've also done them on my back, my butt, my thighs. Um, some people put them in on their the back of their arms. It's totally your preference, but this is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to hold this up, and it's like a spring-loaded machine, and you just click one two three and it's in like the adhesive can hold it there I press one or two three times make sure that the adhesive is going to stick and then I pull it up so that's what that looks like it's all fresh and new and ready to use so if you can see that's the needle it's a very small it honestly doesn't hurt. You can't reuse these, but this is what it looks like if you were to do it. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. This, again, cannot go in the recycle bin or the garbage. It has to be in a sharp spin because it does have that needle. So what I like to do is still bend down the needle and kind of put it under one of the there one of the openings so that even if the sharps container gets like broken 
it still isn't going to hurt anybody. I just do that out of a precaution. Not everybody does that, but I choose to. So now I'm going to remove my old site, which is just kind of like removing a sticker. It doesn't hurt. It can get a little bit itchy. I find that the adhesive can kind of make my skin a little bit itchy, but that's okay. There's not really, you can't really tell. It usually gets itchy after like a couple hours of it being off, but there, there's no bump or anything. You can't even really tell something was there. So this is what the site looks like, what goes inside of you, if you can see. So there's a little piece of clear plastic that sticks up. That is the cannula, and that is what is actually inside of my stomach or wherever I choose to put my site. So this, because it has touched the bodily fluids and it has medical, it has like drugs inside of it. I mean, insulin isn't really like a bad drug or anything, but this also will go in the sharps container. So that's how I changed my pump site. I hope I somewhat explained it okay. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below, or you can always message me on Instagram. It's at chronicallyemilyt, and it will be linked down below. Um, so yeah, that's how I change my pump site. I am going to edit and get a little bit of stuff done, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.